Before us, this is pursuant to our resolution to invite them for briefing on the security situation in our dear country. On behalf of all of us, the Sungu Senators, I want to welcome this team, and let me quickly assure all of you that indeed this Senate, or even the entire National Assembly, is and will remain a partner in progress with you. On behalf of my colleagues, I want to commend our armed forces and other security agencies for fighting the myriad of security challenges across the country in the process some have given up their lives, others are maimed. We appreciate what you are doing because we know that you are doing your best with what you have at hand. This session is going to be a close session, but I want to assure you and everyone that the challenges we face are taken extremely seriously by the parliament. Hardly a day passes without this Senate discussing one security incident or the other. And it has been so for many years, not only this current session of the National Assembly. So once again, I welcome you and trust us with what you think will be helpful to us as a parliament to help the cause of the armed forces and other security agencies to perform better because you haven't achieved the optimum, and I can attribute that to inadequate resources. We pray that at the end of this interaction, we see better ways and means of providing the necessary provision for resources to enable our armed forces continue with this national case of fighting to provide the kind of security that we need to protect the lives and property of citizens 
to stabilize our environment, for the economy to receive better investments, for this country to be a hub for investments that will provide employment opportunities for our team in youth. Thank you very much. The press, please, you can excuse us, but make sure that you switch off your cameras before you leave. Uh, Inspector General of Police, sorry, I didn't see you. You are also welcome. I didn't mention you. Thank you very much.